What is up guys and welcome back to episode number 35 now of the My Player Career Mode here on FIFA 17. Of course, still at Valencia, still trying to get our hands on our first club trophy of a career. But guys, today's episode is a bit short. You may have noticed down the bottom right of your screen, it's only around a nine minute episode. And the reason for that is literally the episode itself has the same number of games in that every other episode out there did have. But all three of the games in today's episodes were so, so boring to play and nothing really happened throughout the majority of them. So for the next episode, I'll be going back down to professional because of course we are playing it on legendary. There are a couple of things that do happen in today's episode which are quite interesting. But at the same time, most of the gameplay, there was really not much, you know, chances going either way. So, you know, the episode itself... Wasn't very, I'd like to say, entertaining to play is what I'm going to go with there. But we have the second leg here of this, uh, I think it's quarterfinal, you know, we're in semi-final. I think we might be quarterfinal of the uh, Copa de España against Espanyol. So regardless of the result today, we could be looking at a semi-final in this one. So the thing is, you've got to sort of take this whichever way it comes. Of course, we drew nil-nil with them in the first leg. If we draw again here, we are looking at extra time and penalties. And yes, penalties will be good for the series. It'll make it interesting. Personally, though, we've missed a lot of penalties in our career already in this series. So I don't want to be missing any more, and I do not want it to be in a penalty shootout where it actually matters. So at the same time, as much as penalties will be interesting for the episode, you just have to wait and see if we do in fact get to them, because I don't want to miss yet another penalty and be the reason we cost ourselves a, a game here. But it took right until the 77th minute for anything to happen, and it actually was Espanyol, the majority of the game, who controlled this one. I could not get any touches up in the final third every time the ball came out of my defense it seemed to go straight back to them alves pulling off a fantastic save there to deny them an opening goal in this one what would have easily managed to win the game for them they whipped the cross in and from the cross it's headed goalward and this one though was close to finding the back of the net eventually though the keeper or uh, my defender ends up clearing it out for that one so a very very frustrating way to uh, to start this second leg off here so the fact that we didn't have a shot it through 120 minutes of football worth showing you I'm very disappointed in not only my performance, but the performance of the rest of the team as well. Because to go to penalties and have Espanyol be the dominant team and only have really two chances in the entire 120 minutes are worth showing you, I found it a bit silly. But we took the penalty kicks and we took the penalty shootout nonetheless. Espanyol scored first there by going into the bottom left-hand side of the corner. Nani then stepped up to take the first spot kick for us. And I was, I was interested actually to see where I would be taking a kick because I wasn't really sure in which position we would be taking the kick in. But... I knew for sure that we would be taking one, of course, being the best player, in my opinion, at this Valencia team. But you can see it's 1-1 at the moment. There is now 2-1 Espanyol scoring theirs. Then we had another penalty kick for ourselves. And I have to say, right, Diego Alves, what a hero this man is. You'll see it coming up. Fantastic penalty from him there, sending it towards the bottom left of your screen. And then um, someone else stepped up for Espanyol. I can't remember who his name was. But the thing is, guys, I knew for a fact that eventually a, a penalty would be saved. But then when Alves saved that one there... And then we take ours and score it. What a penalty kick that one is, by the way. Right in the top right-hand corner of the, of the goal there. But I knew for sure it, it was going to come down to me as, as the deciding penalty. I just knew it was always going to happen that way. And when he steps up here and Alves saves yet again, it's just setting up for a perfect you know, situation for me to be in. So to step up at this point, needing to score to win the game, so it went to the left-hand side, keeper stayed where he was, and we managed to score the penalty kick. And that's one of the things I wanted to do. You can see there... One out of one penalties in a penalty shootout, now completed. We've yet to win, or we've yet to score in a penalty shootout. We don't really score a lot of penalties. And the reason for that is either I'm not good at penalties this year, or I just can't get the hang of this whole arrow system and stuff. I, I'm not good at penalties this year, to say the least. But it becomes increasingly frustrating as well, when every single game you're missing simple penalties that you should be able to bang in the back of the net. And at the end of the day, we are through to the next round, and that is all that matters. So we've got ourselves a goal I guess you can call it a goal because it is a goal at the end of the day, but it doesn't really count towards our goal tally here at Valencia with that penalty kick, um, obviously, from the, the shootout itself. But that really was all I had to show you in terms of what we did well because after this, guys, it gets worse. And this is why this episode has not been good for me in terms of a My Player episode. I mean, I wanted this to be good. I said, you know, when I bumped at Legendary, I'm finding it w interesting because there were bits when I was actually doing quite well and other bits where I weren't doing so well. But the thing is, I knew for a fact that when I came on to Legendary that this game was going to go one of two ways. It was either going to be a very boring game or I was going to struggle. And I saw the uh, the knowing of that I bumped up to Legendary and I, and I saw the fact that the teams would, were getting a few more chances and thought this is making the series a little bit more interesting. But what it does do is also reduce the amount of chances that we have. The only reason for that is not down to me, it's down to the rest of the players because in you know previous games like there, for example, against Espanyol, I couldn't get the ball out of my half and into my own uh, into the into the opposing half to really have a touch. So 
it seems to be whenever you're getting dominated, especially on Legendary, it's so, so hard to get out of your half. And it really is boring to play yourself. Because if you sit through 90 minutes of FIFA, not like 90 minutes in like real life, but in game time, without touching the ball, it's so, so boring to play. But I'll just have to keep doing what I'm doing and bumping up to Legendary. And then obviously going back to Professional whenever I feel as though with the games, oh, the episode's a bit boring. But like here, for example, 67 minutes in, we finally get the first chance of this one. It fell the way of um, Malaga's uh, attempt here. Cross gets whipped in, it falls to him in the area, and then I have no idea what on earth happened. Like, my team just decided they didn't want to defend. The captain of the Malaga team decides to put that one in the back of the net, and we were losing by a goal to nil. And of course, we had one chance left in the game to try and get ourselves something out of it, and I was having to basically try and create most of the chances here. 87 minutes, ball comes down on the left-hand side, I get it played into me, whip the cross towards the back post, the header comes in, but it's an extremely tame effort, and it's straight into the hands of the goalkeeper, and that was all the game had in store. Two chances, one going either way, one of which should have been cleared away by our team, wasn't to be. And unfortunately, we were then ultimately lost the game. So we lost three points for pretty much a defensive error, I want to call it. But at the same time, because I could not create anything going forward. You can see there is the literal only two chances of the game that EA really wanted to show you. So not too uh, good this episode so far with the nil-nil draw. And then we obviously picked up the win in the shootout. But then to get a one-nil defeat there to Malaga, when we are chasing the lead title as well, not the way that I wanted to get back into league form in this one. But we have one more game to come in today's episode and it will be in the Champions League. We take on Bayer Leverkusen. Again, you know, on Legendary, it's no, you know, no game's ever going to be easy on Legendary. But at the same time, when you're playing Champions League games on Legendary, I'm just, I was hoping again that it was not going to be one of these things where they would literally have one shot in the entire game and it'll go the way of Leverkusen and that was it. I didn't want to have these sort of episodes where that is happening. You can see, again, Estadio Mastalia are at home for this one, but I knew for a fact that this wasn't going to be my day in front of goal. I knew I wasn't going to get a goal and I knew as well that it just was not going to work out for me by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you can see the players to watch there. Kevin Volland, of course, we all know about him and how good he is. If you haven't tried him out more on the team, actually, try him out. He only goes for about 650 to 700 coins, or he used to do anyways. And uh, he's actually pretty good. But the first chance of the game fell our way, 48 minutes into it. This one was a little bit more, I want to say, not sort of more chances, but you can tell that the game was opened up a little bit more. You know, both teams sort of had a few chances themselves. I got one there with the right foot shot, which ended up going straight to the goalkeeper. And then from the clearance, we pick up the ball. We try and play it out the back here. Eventually, it does come down this left-hand side as it is then played inside. Eventually, it though, does, as I say, come down the left-hand side. Ball gets played through. I'm on the end of it, running through. And I like to be in this position because I like to stop and turn and just try and get my uh, my way past the defender. I choose not to do it on this occasion, though, because I went straight down the line to the byline and whipped in across. Header was won, then cleared away by the Bayer Leverkusen defence. And literally, that was it. Like, honestly, I, I just don't understand how on earth I, I can't really create chances on this game. Like, I get the ball a lot. But there's not really too much movement off the ball. I mean, you can see here, I'm waiting for a run to be made. And eventually, I play it down the left. Comes out here, and, uh, and it gets tackled. But we do create a chance at this at the end of this, though. So I suppose it's, it swings and roundabouts. It works either way. But eventually, it comes back into me. I take the strike on. And this one is a fantastic save from the Bayer Leverkusen keeper in there. I think it's actually Leno who uh, keeps the score at nil-nil. And there was one last chance available to us in the game, but unfortunately not able to convert this one either. Eventually my teammate gets through, takes a strike on, Leno with a good save, and I just could not get onto the rebound. And that was all the game had in store. So Leverkusen had literally no shots in this one. We had most of the play and unfortunately couldn't find the back of the net. But a very boring-ish episode, and I apologise for that in advance, but there's nothing I can do about it eventually. You know, it's the way the games pan out. But hopefully you've still enjoyed this regardless. And uh, I'll catch you all with another video very soon. Adios!